Hey everyone, back in Wales again. So it's chucking it down with rain, as always. So I finished the stone wall in, there's a picture there. I'm trying to stay out of the rain, so I'm just showing you from inside. So there's the side, and then I've done the, uh, the front as well, as you can see there. And so now we're just, um, the next job's gonna be the walls, but before I do the walls, I'm gonna have to put up this beam here, this long beam. So you see it there, it goes all the way along over to there. That's going between here and the post over there and that's going to be a like a mezzanine type floor so we're just going about to try and get that up and um, yeah it's going to be fun basically. So good morning YouTube, I finally got around to doing some filming, I always forget to get the camera out, get carried away so finish this stone wall on the front and around the sides, let's get to come around here. So around the sides, around there. Yeah, we haven't plastered the bags yet, I've run out of lime. Uh, we started doing the walls, I fitted the door frame so I can draw the walls around it. I started doing the walls, laying them on top with the foundation. So there they are, you can see coming in. So we got a, a little bit of uh, cement off um, Freecycle. I've got a couple of bags of cement, so we're going to use that around the bottom to try and tie it into the, the, the dry stone really nicely. Um, seeing as it was going gonna go to waste anyway, it's free, so we're gonna use that for that. And if we run out, we're gonna use uh, lime for the first layer, just to tie it into the foundation nicely. And then on top of that, we're gonna use the uh, cob mix. So yeah, this is the first time I've ever done this, and it seems to be working all right, as you can see. So it's just uh, a mortar bed with a gap in between for sawdust, as you can see. So it needs a lot of wood, a lot of wood, and I could do some kind of a mix of it. Yeah, we've started. Um, I think the stone on the front come out well. Come out well. It just needs uh, scrubbing up with a wire brush so you can actually see the stones rather than all the lime. But yeah, I'm hoping to get. I'm going to run out of cement and lime fairly soon, so just get what I can done. Get what I can done today. Yeah, we're making progress. Milena's up there stripping bark. We've um, we've installed this beam across for um, for the platform that we're going to have eventually. So we've got this beam up here. Hang on. Let me just come up here. Turn the radio down. So yeah, we've got this beam up here that we installed. Milena's just stripping the bark off of it. And uh, that's going to be a platform. So when you walk in, walk through the door here, and then there's that beam in front. You can still see all the roof above it and everything. That'll be a platform, and then we'll be able to sleep and stuff up there. We're making progress slowly. It's going to be a lot of work getting these uh, getting these walls done. There's a view from the inside. Got to make some steps down there and dig out that stump down there as well. Yeah, we will get there. We got. That stack of wood there, we've got some wood there, wood there. We've got a bit, but we, we need about 50 times as much. So yeah, got to harvest some wood. It's a nice view from the front with the sun out. We've got to get rid of that tripod at some point. Just can't get a proper view of it, but yeah. It's looking cool. I'm getting quite proud of it, to be honest. I was, I've had a lot of problems and a lot of worries about whether things are going to work and is that going to work, is, that gonna, you know, is this the right way to do it? But um, yeah, I've made a lot of mistakes with it, and I've learnt a lot. There's a lot. Hey YouTube, so great news! It's a lovely day at last. It's uh, it's been a long time coming. Sun's out, not a cloud in the sky. It's just fantastic today. Uh, so I've got some. Um, well, I can't do any much more on this because, as I said, we're using a using cement that we got for free that was going to go to waste. So. Um, I can't, the temperatures tonight are going down to like minus four, so I can't do that today. The temperature's too cold, it'll just ruin it. So I'm working on the sleeping platform, as you can see the beam's in. So I've got a load of logs that are going to go from from here over to here, and they're going to go through the wall. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily fix 
some bits of wood on these posts and on the back here run the logs across and then when the wall's up there I'll incorporate them into the wall and then take those supports out okay here's my beams for the platform just there they'll uh, I think they'll be quite nice they're Douglas and Larch and uh, some noble fir in there as well so yeah I've got lots of them so this pile here is going to make a firewood store and these ones here and that one there are going to make the beams for the suspended floor so just stripping one here and draw knife so that's the plan so here's the plan for the, for the uh, sleeping platform so I've done a little notch out of that beam it's not the prettiest bit of joinery but I don't care because it does the job so that's sitting nicely on that beam um, then temporary beam at the back just to hold them in place for now and level where they're going to be and then the beams extend over and out the back and when the wall gets built up we'll go through the wall and then this beam will be removed and that's the plan that's one in roughly in the middle somewhere so yeah so we just uh, we carry on they'll need some flattening off and so on but that's kind of the idea of it uh, this beam probably is going to need to be supported I'll probably support it from the roof so it's not uh, taking up space down from the ground floor there but yeah that's our little sleeping area we've got about a uh, metre and a half 1.8 metres or something like that in the middle there there's basically enough room up there for a bed which is nice, it's a nice area yeah, quite pleased with it. I've got to do the end pieces, it's not just going to be square, it's just going to go all the way to the edges. Yeah, I think it'll work well. It doesn't use much material really. I've got some flooring that I can use for this. And it's uh, it's added a lot of space, so very happy. It's working. Simple join. It's really quick. We'll just have some wooden flooring over this. Maybe a handrail. be lovely. Uh, here it is from underneath, looking up the other way. So this will all be covered over, give us a lot of extra space. Feel quite cosy under here, I would have thought. Yeah. So I'm thinking about, not sure yet, but I'm thinking about leaving this end open because we're planning on having a wood stove here. I want the heat to be able to come up. So I think I'm going to leave this end open and close that end off, I believe. It's going to be the plan. So that's the plan for that corner. I've just done some diagonal ones. Uh, there'll be a tiny little gap up the side there, but that's not an issue. So that side's closed off. I've just sort of scarf jointed it into there. Uh, there won't be that much weight on this one, to be honest, and once that one here. So it's too not low there to ever really put serious weight on this because you wouldn't get under there. It'll just be for storage or something. So I've just literally just screwed that one into there. That'll be fine. Um, and then over this side, this side will remain open because it'll be above probably the cooker. So we're going to let the uh, heat rise up the platform and maybe the stove pipe might go up there as well to um, to keep it nice and warm. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. <laughs>